name is Daniel Dreyfus, and I'd like to give you some guidance into how to find inner peace. Inner peace is not a philosophy or an idea or a set of beliefs. It's the thing itself. Imagine, this occurred to me this morning, see if it makes sense to you. Imagine you're a bowl of water and you're shaking it, you know, so the surface is agitated, in turmoil. What you'd like to know perhaps how to do is to be able to allow it to be still, to regain, rediscover that tranquility which is innate to that bowl of water and indeed to your own identity. Often we're tossed so much with, uh, I probably don't have to tell you, right? Politics, the economy, relationships, finance, children, you know, the list is endless. What you discover is that by learning to be aware of that peacefulness which is present within and around you, you develop, what word shall I use, a greater insight and perspicacity, a greater ability, a greater depth, a greater humanity. You become more of who you are and you're able to give more of yourself as a result so that all of these, all of these areas are improved. What are some of them? Well, first, you have to learn how to allow your mind to be still. You know, you have to find the off switch. We know where the on switch is. Thought rushing, you know, rushing from one idea to the next. But you have to find the off switch. You have to allow yourself to be still and you access a whole new type of intelligence and consciousness and understanding you know, people do this. You're probably doing this already to a greater or lesser extent. You can learn to do it to a greater extent. So you pick up ideas, you receive things that allow you to act more wisely. You also have to understand something about the nature of reality. You know, throughout civilization for thousands of years, there have been many beliefs postulated. But you know, <laughs> I've never been really that interested in what somebody believes because belief is subject to change and revision. You know, what could be more clear than the sun rising and setting? And yet, wasn't it Copernicus that changed that belief? It was really quite something to try and get a sense of the earth rotating in re relation to a stationary sun or that the earth was flat and now we go into space and see that it's round. So beliefs are subject to revision. There are our best estimate, our consensus opinion about the way things are. But beyond belief or opinion or ritual or dogma or what people have said, the consensus opinion, if you will, what everybody thinks, is reality. And it's helpful to understand the truth about things, how they actually are that's beyond, you know, disagreement. Someone may understand more or less of things, but uh, to be able to access things as they are, you will find, you know, results in a great, not just inner peace, but it radiates outward and is reflected back to you. This is a very useful, useful thing to have. So you need to have some instruction, some guidance, into the nature of being, uh, the substance of reality, the truth of I identity. So those are all things that can be covered and explored and discovered. And uh, you'll see a link in the description below this video. Uh, I suppose this is just a brief introduction, but hopefully you'll get some of the idea that such a thing is possible, it's accessible to everyone, it's your greatest gift, and it's only hidden you know, what's a secret? What's something hidden? It doesn't mean it's impossible to find. It means it's not where you've been looking. That if you know where and how to look, you can discover it and experience it for yourself.